I'll show you how to make all of these steampunk adornments and embellishments from scratch. Welcome to my crafting channel. I'm Alana from Upcycling NZ. Starting with making the metal plates and I'm using cracker boxes, PVA glue, a hole punch, sticker gems and some of the plastic packing tape that holds boxes together. I'm also using these aluminium trays that my cat food comes in for some of the metal plates. To create the rivet look on these, I'm taking a variety of pen bits and pieces that have nice holes in them that can create a faux rivet look. And I'm just pressing those into the soft backing. That'll help create a variety of looks that I'm going for. For the most part I'll be using some baking paper and an all-purpose exterior acrylic black paint. This has got quite a brown tone to it and you'll start to see how those different rivet methods start to take effect. To make the cogs I'm taking a cereal box and various different round objects so I can have different sized cogs. I'm simply going to draw around these and to cut them out and to get the cog edge I'm using these decorative craft scissors in various different shapes. With this particular pair, I can get two different looks by turning the scissors over. 
and to create a variety of holes in the middle I'm taking my hole punch and washers and lids to create the size circles I want in the middle. Some of them I'm cutting out, some of them I'm punching out and some of them I'm actually going to cut out with a craft knife. To create the metal effect, I've got three colours in metallic acrylic paint. One's pale gold, one's copper and one is silver. And I'm applying that in various different ways. Uh, this is the rub-on method. To make these look more distressed and dirtied up, let a little black show through and mix your colours until you get your desired effect. Next is a dry brush method. Just take a nice soft dry brush and just take a very small amount of paint and just build up the colour until you're happy with the look. next method is simply to paint them and then I'm going to go back with various different colours and black paint and I'll be wiping that back to get another different look. Another way is a rub and buff method. I've only got a copper rub and buff powder at the moment, but this is probably my favorite method. And you just rub that on before your black paint is 100% dry. This next method is embossing by using embossing powders. And I'm just painting PVA glue onto the cogs and I'm sprinkling the embossing powder all over the surface. This is the copper colour. Don't waste the excess, just sprinkle that back into the container. I've got a silver and I've got a gold. Please let it be noted that I do not recommend the lighter method. Uh, I do not have a heat gun, so I've had to do it this way. However, I did set fire to one of these while I was trying to get the embossing to melt. And there you go, I've made a variety of different steampunk adornments and embellishments. You can use these for card making or for journaling. I'm going to use them to make a steampunk hat so watch out for that video in the future. one's gonna get your jeans. Got your jeans. <laughs> 